Welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials. Jose says hello from Madrid, Spain. Today I will be retouching this photograph you see on screen using Luminar Neo. Guys, welcome back. As I said, I will be uh, transforming this photograph into this dreamy look uh, using Luminar Neo. Before moving into the edit workflow, I will appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. Also like the video and share if you find it fit. Let's check this photo. This photo here was shot with a 5D Mark III Canon. 80 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 lens. Uh, the settings on the camera were ISO 3200 at 200 millimeter at f 2.8 and 1 250th of a second shutter speed. So I assume that this photo was shot at low light, maybe at late afternoon. That's the reason the photographer used 3200 ISO. Let me switch back to edit. And I will accomplish this by using several uh, tools here in uh, Luminar Neo. Basically, I will do first a cleanup of the face, I mean, hair strays and some other blemishes in the skin before applying the skin retouch. And then we'll use the face AI module to then move into the dodge and burning. So that's my first uh, workflow to enhance face features. Then after that, I will start creating the mood of the photograph. I will apply some manual vignettes. You will see that happening. And then at the end, I will put some overlays to create that dreamy look. So without any further ado, let's get into retouching this photograph. Okay, guys, so here's the photograph. I will start um, editing and retouching it. First thing, go to the develop mode, uh, develop raw. Click on profile, I will switch this one to camera neutral. And then I will go to the color section. And since this photo, I think it was shot in the shade, I will switch to shade. Let's see the tone, I like it. It's okay. And the last thing on optics, I will tick these three options in here. So that's all for the develop mode. Now, I will erase this hair strays you see over her face. Let wait for the photograph to render. So you see this over here. I will erase that using the erase tool. Uh, the settings I typically use for this, the size to a minimum, which is 10. And then I make sure that the select option is selected. And I will start selecting one by one, okay? What I did is I selected and clicked Erase, okay? Okay, I will do this one here. Okay, so this is the way I do it, right? So I will take my time doing this. I will fast forward the video. And when I am done, I will return to the normal speed, okay? I'm okay with it. Uh, if I have more time, I will definitely fix all of this uh, loose hair that you see around her head. Uh, but you know, for the sake of the tutorial, I would skip it for the moment. When I am done with the erased uh, portion of it, I will then now apply skin adjustments. So I will go to the portrait section here and I will select skin. I will wait for the AI to load, I mean to scan the photograph. And then I typically zoom in around 50% and I will start around 60 and see uh, the result. I think it's okay around 60, yes. And I will also click on skin defects removal and that's it for this tool. 
really fast, very natural. Then after the skin, I will switch to the face. So I will apply some face light around and go back. I will do this around there. 16 is okay. Yes, I think it's fine. Yeah, not too much, just a touch. Uh, slim the face a little bit around eight or 10, 11. It's, yeah, it's fine there. I will now move to the eyes. I will whiten the eyes around there. I will enhance the eyes. Yes. I will do some dark circles removal. Okay. So far, this is what we have. Yes. I think it's okay. You see the features of the face are enhanced if you want more light the only thing you have to do is to apply more light in here but i will leave it around 20. if it's too much i can go always go back and reduce it now it's time to dutch and burn i do the dutch and burning part if you have seen my other videos i use dutch and burn to enhance uh, the features of the face of the model and some other uh, enhancements around the hair and the dress if needed. I will do this in two different sections. The first Dutch and Burn module I will apply will be for the face and the second one will be for the hair and the rest of the portrait. Okay, so I will click on Dutch and Burn here. My typical settings is amount around 50, lighten, size, I will adjust it for, to the size I need it and strength is around, I will put it around 8. So these are the settings I always start with. So this brush is too big. I will reduce it a little bit. And then I will do the T area. That's my, my workflow. I always apply to this T area. I want to lighten or dodge these areas first. You see what it does? It enhances the features. I will pass it through the eyes as well, just to lighten up the eyes a little bit more. This collarbones and this part. Over here, I'm doing the skin only, all right? So I think I like it the way it is. I can probably go back to the edits and go to the face light and reduce it a little bit. Switch back to tools. Yes. Okay. Well, my second Dutch and burn step will be to enhance this highlights of the hair of her hair and then apply burn to the dark areas. How I do that the same way as I did with the previous one. I put my amount in 50, strength in eight is fine. The size I will put it smaller and I start, I will start applying that to this area. And the hair, I can probably increase, yeah, to 14. Yes, okay, you see? You have to train your eye. You have to practice and practice and practice until you train your eye just to, you know, easily detect the areas that are highlighted that you want to apply the dodging part. This really enhances very well uh, these areas. Okay, I will see. Let me check in here. Yes, I will put a little bit more here and here and then this one. And this one here, okay? Here, 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 and here. Okay, good. A little bit more here. And then I will switch to darken. I will lower this to 13, softness at 100. And then I will darken some of the, or enhance some of the dark areas here, okay? This, yes. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm just enhancing a little bit more uh, the dark areas, but with this Dutch and Burn tool with Luminar Neo. 
and also using the power of artificial intelligence to accomplish it. Okay, now I will lower the strength more to around eight. I will zoom in and I will apply some burning to the eyebrows. Okay, and to the edges of the eyelids. And then I will also increase this one and apply it in the border of the shin. Yes. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Okay. And this in this section, we started with this photograph and we have come all the way to this. All right. Okay. So I did that uh, with the dodge and burn tool. Now I will create the effect of a vignette. I just want to darken this area a little bit. There are several ways to do it. Maybe I can use the develop mode and use a brush and brush it this thing out. But uh, I think it's better to use uh, a linear gradient. So how I will do that, I will switch now to the develop mode. I will click on masking, click on linear gradient, and then I will drag the gradient here. Okay, let me move this one to the edge. And the red uh, areas, you see that gradient is where the effect is going to be applied. So I will switch back to adjustments and start with the light, lowering the exposure around there. Okay. I really want the face, her face and the eyes to pop. Okay. So this is what I did. If I need to reduce it a little bit, I can always come back. All right, good. Now, the next develop mode I will probably use here is to add a little bit of yellow. So I will do this this way. The temperature like this. The reason I'm doing this is because I will now add the final touches to this photograph. Remember, I started saying that, he's, that, he, that I will create a dreamy look. And that dreamy look is that type of haze of the sun behind the model and, you know, and the lens capturing that, that, um, I mean, that flare that is not exactly a flare, but it's really soft. And given the fact that this photograph and the highlights she has on her hair can, you know, serve really well to create this effect. And the way I will do this is I will import some uh, overlays as layers in here to create the effect. So to add that layer, I will click on the add new layer here. And I already have my layers here. And by the way, if you want to download this uh, overlays, you head over to my website. Uh, the link is going to be in the description of the video. So I will leave the link to download um, I mean this overlays and also the link to the website that you can get this photograph to practice. The one I will use is this, this dreamy sun on the left side. So I will click on this. And then it already applied. The way Luminar Neo works with layers and when every time you uh, import a layer, it will put an opacity at 50%. If I want to increase it to 100%, that's okay. Now you see how the picture changed the mood. You know, the highlights of a hair, the dodge and burning we did, it's really enhancing this look, right? Uh, I typically use it the, that way, the light coming from one side. If you like to use the same effect on the right side of the, of the model, the only thing you have to do is just to duplicate this one. I uh, will duplicate the, the overlay layer. And then when it's duplicated, I would not just need to go here and flip that horizontally. Uh, but it's too much. In this case, I will lower the exposure around there. I think it's really nice the way it looks. If you want more contrast, I would recommend guys you to go to develop mode and use the smart contrast. If you want more contrast on the model, I mean, sorry for this. I need to switch back to this uh, layer and then move to the develop mode and apply smart contrast. Okay. See? Okay. If you like more contrast, that's the way you do it. 
there you have it guys let me know what you think this is a really quick edit with a few overlays and a few movements of, uh, of sliders in luminar neo you can accomplish a dreamy look in any portrait again guys thank you very much for watching the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next straight to the point tutorial god bless you all